All right, very good morning to you. You're watching the Weather Network, and it is Tuesday, September the 9th. So glad you could join us on the Weather Network and in Red Deer, some of those smoky skies. Thank you, Corey Robertson, for sharing this in. And whoo, whoo, look at that beautiful tinge to the sky in Tuscan, Nova Scotia. Thank you, Lucas Bork, for that. And recent rain has been good news in Nova Scotia. This is in Halifax. Uh, we've um, I've got some uh, update there on the fire situation in Nova Scotia. But first, tomorrow morning is our fall forecast, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's when all the pomp and circumstance <laughs> begins. And Kim McDonald and myself will be broadcasting live from Alora, Ontario. Beautiful Alora. And between 10 and 11, so after the, uh, you know, the main stuff, forecast uh, we'll have a little meet and greet so if you're going to be in Alora, come by and say hi we'll be at the gorge cinema all right because of recent rain the fire is now held that is the long lake fire meaning that uh, as long as conditions don't uh, change this fire will not grow so it's not out of sorry it's not out of control and it's not out yet it's in that in between stage but progress has been made this is good news 20 degrees in Yarmouth 21 in Halifax up across the Bay of Fundy Moncton to ha uh, Fredericton uh, 22 degrees and into uh, Newfoundland well 19 degrees in St. John's uh, could we hit 20 today conceivable High pressure in place today, so mainly dry conditions. Uh, low pressure could bring more cloud cover tomorrow. Showers along that eastern shore in Nova Scotia and Thursday into Friday. A few more showers into uh, Newfoundland. So we've had 79 days of temperatures over 20 degrees in St. John's. That ties the record back in 2012. Uh, the data goes back to 1942, by the way. So 19 today, 19 tomorrow. Could we hit 20? Sure we could. And that would bring our 80th day. And then after that, we're back to more seasonal values after that. Uh, rain showers have been falling from the Lake Superior shorelines eastwards towards the Quebec border. The heaviest rain around that Wawa White River area where more than 50 millimeters of rain is expected. Uh, anywhere north of there, you got cloud cover in Thunder Bay as you go south towards Sudbury, Perry Sound in Toronto while the sun comes out in full force. Nice weather around the GTA, Hamilton and Niagara, 23, 24 degrees up towards the Kawartha Lake. So though it's been a cool morning, into Quebec also, low 20s today, lots of sunshine. Do we have any rain in the forecast? Do we have any cool down? Well, Toronto over the next number of days, next shot of rain showers, maybe Saturday or Sunday, and it's just a chance. Ottawa, probably a more likelihood coming into those low 20s with cloud cover for the weekend and into Montreal by Sunday. But note the temperatures, very pleasant indeed. Warm across most of the prairies, mid to upper 20s in Alberta. And your next few days, of, <coughs> excuse me, Edmonton, Calgary, Regina, well above seasonal, Winnipeg as well. Perhaps some showers or storms for the southern prairies by Friday. All right, into British Columbia, uh, this low pressure system in Washington state still hanging around. So that means more scattered thunderstorms again today, possibly some hail as well, along with winds and some lightning. So that would not be good for the uh, forest fire situation east of the Rockies today and likely tomorrow a little further east. So that low pressure system bringing the risk of thunderstorms is also going to spread that smoke around that could also get into the lower mainland in the coming days. So in terms of rain, spotty in the interior, heavier rain coming later this week for the north coast and central coast, but Vancouver and Victoria a mainly dry outlook.